Okay, we're with Matt Eastwood, uh, Australia's greatest export. <laughs> Apart from Drogo. <laughs> yeah, apart from Drogo. Oh, so, right, there's I'll a few, there's that, a few yeah. out there, but uh, they're both in New York. Uh, this one is actually the head of uh, uh, the global, uh, the uh, Chief National Grade of Officer. The, oh God, you, you, can you say Chief that? Grade of Officer, DDB New York. Yes, yes. yes. The original home of uh, the, the Graves Agency on Earth when Beaumont was there, and yes. you're in the same office. I'm in mean, almost Literally the same, same office. Almost. So I'm almost, I'm like a, his office, but three floors down. Fantastic, so uh, yeah. it's rather and, intimidating to me. And it's the same building? Same building, yeah. yeah. Right. So where Birnbeck roamed the halls and his, in Madison in Avenue. Madison yeah. Avenue. Not many left. Not, not his many, personal uh, assistant yeah. still works there. So uh, really? yeah, so she's there. She's the history. Yeah. yeah. She you knows can, all the dates. You can ask her any question any about question. Bill and she will tell you the answer. So it's amazing. Yeah. You arrived 18 months ago yep. to a, a very big agency, but extremely unawarded for many years. I yeah. Mean, I think they couldn't even remember the last time they won one. But they were so fabulous in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely the mission heritage. in getting me there is, uh, you know, they, it, it, it is, there's an amazing heritage at DDB New York. I mean, it, there's sort of, it's hallowed ground, but it had just not fallen on tough, tough times, but just hadn't really had a strong recent history of doing great award-winning work. Um, so, you know, luckily for me, uh, the global management looked at what we'd done in Australia with DDB and said, let's do a bit of that in New York. And, and, and you've been to New York. And I'd, been, I'd spent yeah. time in New York. Yeah. I'd lived in New York before. And, uh, you know, I was always keen to go back. And, um, you know, I've, I'm, I'm in love with New York. I yeah. think it's my yeah. spiritual yeah. home. <laughs> um, so, you know, and, and a year and a half in, we're starting to win. You know, we've, we've won Clio's, we've won New York festivals. Um, uh, We've got a ADC silver this week. awards. We got a silver this week. Uh, we got a bunch of finalists, yes. and you know, it's uh, it's it's not it's it's a nice surprise for uh, for an agency that's not used to winning awards to start winning again. Yeah. So uh, there's a real positive vibe there at the moment, which and is fantastic. And you've got some nice work for the New York Lotteries, which is great to see. Again. Yeah, the New York Lotteries is and definitely hurts. you know that's one of our best clients. They're yeah. amazing, and uh, you know we've got the we've got the cover of the current archive magazine yeah. with Hertz uh, with our new Hertz campaign. Yeah. Which is a nice thrill for us. So, yes. um, you know, we're uh, we're definitely starting to get the work out. But that's the thing that I was always excited about is uh, you know we have some great clients that had the potential to do great work. We just needed to do the work. So um, you know that's what we're doing, and uh, you know, um, hopefully starting to win some some awards for Hertz and New York Lottery, who's you know had the famous Hey You Never Know campaign yeah. for like 30 years yeah. or something, which is created by DDB. Yeah, cool. um, so, you know, that's the, the, the legacy of great work is there and it's that they will buy as good work as we give them. So, you know, for us, it's about delivering amazing work. And you, you've got Hertz these days, um, and of course, you always had Avis before that. It's it's you know, a, for, for two decades of Avis, great great ads. It is funny. Yeah. It's very funny. Yeah. Um, how long has yeah. Hertz been with DDB now? We've had Hertz for maybe uh, four or five years. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so you know, quite a while. And so you knew uh, the rental business. You know, yeah. Somehow. And it's funny they don't like us to mention the oh, fact that, uh, that we we, won't we created uh, we try harder for yeah. Avis, so we now try harder for Hertz. But Hertz uh, is still number one, isn't it? Uh, well, Actually, they're not. It's, uh, it's um, a company called Enterprise. No one's uh, ever heard of them, but they're huge. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. yeah no. So Hertz is number two, yep. and Avis is a third. So yeah. it's, the whole thing's changed. And um, but uh, you know, we're uh, we're in our mission to get them back. But you do tonight. They'd obviously like nice work. Yeah, they they, they, they love it. great work, and the client's fantastic. And uh, you know, we've done some. We've got a really beautiful uh, TV campaign that we're running at the moment, traveling at the speed of Hertz, yes. which they love, and yeah. it's going really well. And uh, it's sort of rolling out around the world. We've done some, you know, I think stunning print work for them, which again, you know, as I said, is on the cover of archives, so that's yeah. nice. And uh, you know, they're a good client, really good client. And you know, we just got to do some great work for them. And you've got some, uh, is it Menno Kluin? Menno Kluin, yes. Name, but he's a fabulous art director or head of art. Yeah. So Menno was one of the first people I hired, and uh, you know, he's amazing. I mean, he's he's so young, he's so talented. You know. Uh, uh, we, we had a moment the other day where uh, we had we had our four Cleos arrived at the office all boxed up and I was like really excited and I said to Menno, oh this is, look at this, this is great. And uh, he said to me, yeah this is amazing, he said you never guess how many I won in one year once. I'm like, 
how many? 30, yeah. Like. <laughs> 23 Clios in one year yeah. he won. So this is a guy that like is no stranger to awards, that's Absolutely. for sure. So, uh, so he joined as head of art and executive creative director. You, you worked with him before? We didn't work together, well, but we know met... Him, right? I know him. Yeah. We met, I met him about eight or nine years ago. Um, he won the Future Gold at Clio uh, as, when he was graduating from Miami Ad that's School. That's right. And yeah. uh, I met him then. And uh, I tried to hire him then, and so did Tony Granger, and he ended up going ah, to work right. for Tony. Yeah, and because went, I knew him there when he went to Tony Granger, yeah. of course. So he worked for Tony for, you know, his whole career, basically, sure. for eight years or something. A, learned but, the craft there. Yeah, so he knew what he was doing, and, yeah. um, you know, we, but we've known each other all that time and talked about maybe working together again. So <laughs> when we, you know, when I came back, he was one of the first people I called, and... You know, he's fantastic. I mean, he is uh, just the king of the kids. Like, they love him, and he runs a whole bunch of juniors who do amazing work and, you know, really uh, transforming the place. And, um, and, you know, he himself, obviously, is just such a wonderful art director. And just, oh, just, yeah, you know, And you need that, too. You need everything that, yeah. has to look good. These I mean, days. and, you know, it's my passion. My, my, my passion is design, and, yeah. you know, I come from a design background, so, uh, you know, I want to make sure. I never want to be one of those agencies that pumps that crappy work. Yeah. I want it to look beautiful at the very least. So Absolutely. Benno makes sure that everything looks beautiful. And I've built a, a sort of a craft design yeah, like you did around BMT. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's you know that's just making a big difference because mm. you know you, you, people look at the work at least and go you know what's happening yeah. here this is amazing. So um, why are you buy an Apple iPhone? Yeah. It actually exactly. looks good because it, it doesn't good. work. It's great. Yeah. It you know because yeah, everyone's got to do like crappy ads. We've yeah. all got to do some. But you make them look nice. But if you can make them look <laughs> nice and work with a great photographer or a typographer then at least you give you know, us the best shot yeah, yeah exactly exactly but what how so we've said how many teams in DB I've heard, yeah we did uh, so yeah there's about uh, we've about probably 35 teams so course, it's, yeah it sounds like a hell of a lot but of course but a New York standard yeah probably, and I mean we have small some massive here, pieces so. of business that yeah. just soak up you know lots of teams on the road of yeah people. And, you know State Farm which we won the silver for is yeah. one of our biggest accounts and, yeah you know like 25 State of Farmer, those. State of Farms, like it's kind of like an insurance? NRMA. Yeah, yeah sure. so it's a big yeah, insurance massive. company, and yeah, but one of the biggest yeah. NRMA for breakfast. Yeah, yeah exactly. Volume. Exactly. So um, you know, everything they, in America's big. Yeah, no matter exactly. What. So yeah. they take up like 25 creatives just to do that piece of business. You know, yeah, it's huge. So. Um, but, but the um, scale does the scale, scale obviously doesn't worry you. It's just a matter of no, problem. and it's a, it's the nice thing is it sounds crazy, but uh, DDB New York is kind of a really nice size, nice middle size yeah, agency in New it's York. Crazy, you know, it's crazy, middle size, which is uh, hilarious. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you How know, many you, people all together. Like, we've got about three hundred and fifty people. Oh, that's actually which quite is nice. Reasonable, right? you know, and it's enough that you can yeah, know all the people. Yeah. But you know, you go it's to not BBO. Like, it's you not go to BBO, it's like twelve hundred people, <laughs> exactly. and you, know, yeah. um, you can never hope to meet it or know everyone. So. No, that's a big difference. So it's yeah. a family thing. Always, yeah. You know, so, um, a weird way. And a lot of people, I mean, you know, DDB is one of those brands that people love. So people come and stay. You know, there's a lot of people that have been there for a long time, and which is good and bad. You know, it's uh, it meant that some people needed to move on. But, um, you know, there's some, there's some amazing people there. And, you know, my uh, CEO has been there maybe 10 years and uh, is, you know, done a great job, but is definitely behind the idea of turning the creative around, which is yeah. fantastic. So you need that support. And, uh, and is it very uh, multicultural? It used to be full of, um, you know, every ethnic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sort of, I mean, they're so uh, interesting. The it people. is. It is. I they mean, all has funny names. They have funny names. They're doing great ads. Uh, <laughs> it's so true. I mean, you know, it, it's funny because DDB New York was always, uh, you know, a bit of a, a Jewish agency. Right. Jewish with a few German. Yeah. Artists. So uh, you know, there's, Helmut there's, Kroon was a the German. Yeah, exactly. And the rest but, you of know, Irish and Jew. Yeah. And, you know, I so, think Doyle Dan Birmingham is one of my, one of my, Doyle's an Irishman. Yeah. Uh, burn back because the, the Jews. So and you know, there's, yeah, it's great. So there's a there's a. But they've never been afraid to say it. You know? No, no, exactly. Yeah, there's no cringing so, about it. You know, so, I just love um, the Levi's bread. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to be Jewish exactly, to love 